Coming from the Great Sea, the charismatic pirate captain Tetra is here, and she's ready to use her skills as a buccaneer, as well as some mysterious magic that is hiding within her, to take down her enemies. Let's take a closer look and find out just what Tetra can do. Tetra's standard attack string consists of 7 strikes. She will slash her sword to the left, spin and slash again, fire off several shots from her pistol, jump and slash left, do a spin attack forward, let off another barrage of shots from her pistol, and then do a combination of slashes and shots forward. This attack string on the whole is okay. It doesn't really have a lot of range, but it does have a good variety of focused and area attacks. Moving on, by pressing heavy attack, Tetra will fire off a blast from her pistol, which releases a circular trap of boiling water, which stuns enemies who are hit or walk into the lingering pool. This attack is best used to stun your way out of a bad situation, as it doesn't have very much offensive potential. Tetra's first combo has her blast her enemies up into the air with a water blast. Unlike other launchers, Tetra herself does not jump up after them, and all in all, this is a pretty basic upwards launcher. Tetra's second combo has her begin a series of spin slashes before a final hit that knocks enemies far away. Due to Tetra's small size, she will not do too much area damage, but it is good for focusing damage onto captains or generals. Tetra's third combo does a similar job by having her run and slash forward a bit before doing a big final hit. This, yet again, gives her another option for piling damage onto a single foe in front of her. Tetra's fourth combo has her leap up and use her pistol to attack a horizontal line in front of her before finishing with a large slash. This attack does have a very wide hitbox and is therefore probably best used when first rushing into a large group of enemies. Tetra's fifth and final combo has her blast off two large shots to the left and right before finishing with a large golden triangular blast in front of her. This is similar to one of Rapier Zelda's area attacks, however the fact that it appears in front of Tetra makes this a lot easier to aim than that attack, and this also happens to easily be Tetra's best area damaging strike. Finishing off the rest of Tetra's kit is her fourth special attack, which has her fire off a volley of attacks in front of her. While this does do good damage a short distance directly in front of her, it does not have a very wide hitbox. Putting everything together, Tetra's moveset on the whole is good, but not really outstanding in any one area. Probably the biggest weakness that holds her back is her very low range, which is often a problem with the smaller size characters in this game. Tetra shines the most in one-on-one -on -one battles, where her extremely focused strikes and combos allows her to almost always have complete control of the fight. This, however, does not seem that impressive when put against many of the other characters who can do both this and much, much more. Tetra Tetra therefore unfortunately ends up being one of the least effective characters in the game, which is such a shame for a character who might have the strongest personality in the entire series. What's a crew soldier doing here? Ocelots are proud creatures. 